Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Asmaran and I've got another 49ers news. And this 49ers news is on. The 49ers owner, Jed York, fine with keeping Trey Lance on the bench for Jim, uh, until Jimmy G is, uh, and until the Jimmy G deal, if needed. So, yeah, this is on the uh, NFL.com news. Um, it's done by Nick Shock uh, around the NFL writer. So this is a bit of a long one. So I try to keep it good and quick and whatever. So, all right, so this read is, The 49ers uh, sign that the end of the Jimmy G era is coming soon. But if you ask the team's owner, it might not be as close as you think. Jed York spoke Wednesday about the 49ers' plan for the rookie quarterback Trey Lance and in sports world in which pressure to produce has never been higher. We all went to the opposite direction. He delivered a public message of uh, patience, aided by the fact that uh, the 49ers still has Jimmy G uh, available to continue as the team starter for the intermediate future. Okay, uh, We've talked about this internally, York said, on uh, MBS, uh, MBS Sports Bay Area's 49ers Talk podcast. Um, if we're in a situation where Jimmy goes out and takes us to a Super Bowl uh, again and has an MVP caliber season and does it again, there are worse dilemmas to be in. And Jimmy certainly has the ability to do that. Uh, knowing it's the most uh, important position in sports and it's uh, great to have a guy that you do believe in and has gotten you to a Super Bowl. So you don't have to put the weight, uh, uh, the weight of the world on the rookie so, uh, soldiers, whether it was, uh, whatever it was, were going to choose. And now that we know Trey is here, you don't have to put the weight of the world on that kid's shoulders and can grow into that position. Okay, the thought of uh, Groppolo playing at an MVP level might seem absurd at this point, but York is likely just throwing out the absolute best case scenario for his team. Which, uh, converse, uh, which conservatively w also would allow the 49ers to keep the training wheels on Lance. Plan A then is to ride with Jimmy uh, until Lance suppresses him uh, in ability and potential. There's no turning at this point when that moment will come, but judging by its deal to send three first rounders to, uh, to Miami in order to move up on uh, three overall, the 49ers believe it is inevitable. It also uh, financially friendly. Garoppolo is currently under a uh, a contract typical of those that de uh, de mean to be the fixture at this point, but it expires after next season. 49ers can uh, also exit via an escape hatch and minimal financial penalty totaling $2.8 million in 2021 or $1.4 million in 2022. Uh, the architects of Garoppolo's uh, contact deserve a rise. Lance, though, uh, won't see a significant pay bump until the fifth and final year of his rookie deal, which at this point set isn't uh, s isn't set in stone, but is available via the option that comes with every first rounder's rookie deal. That same rookie deal will pay Lance substantially less over the first four years of his career than Garoppolo has made in 2019-2020, and will make in 2021-2022. The for uh, eventful succession will not only give 49ers a long-term answer at the position, provided Lance proves he's worth the job, but also provide significantly uh, financial uh, flexibility. In, even if he doesn't pay, even if he doesn't play for two years, we still have an extra hundred million, as you put it, put it, to improve elsewhere and make annual runs at a Lombardi Trophy. As essentially, the 49ers are trying to win now and for the last decade uh, for the next decade they're acting accordingly with calculated moves and financial prosper giving lance a long runway simply fits into that approach if he uh, if he doesn't play until he's 23 but he's got a 15 plus year career you said of lance uh, there were rumors about a guy and obviously there was rumors about a guy and obviously got uh cole talked about trading for aaron uh, how long did aaron sit Two or three years before you played, and again, I want to make sure that we we want to do everything we can to make sure that position is the best it can possibly be in the NFL. The Forty Nine doesn't have an MVP, but it does have a guy once seen as a franchise quarterback in Garoppolo, and another with the potential to be even better in Lance. There's no rush because they're they're in the same quarterback rooms. The Forty Nine don't need a rookie to save what's already a well-run organization. Okay. They just need to stay healthy, starting with Garoppolo. 
And as his contract tells us, very likely a maximum of two years from heading to uh, resign to Lance, it's perfectly fine for them to take their time. If he's the best player, uh, if he's the best player, then he would play. York said of Lance. And if he's not ready to do it yet, we're not going to put the uh, we're not going to put it on his shoulders. And whether that's trades or whether that's anybody else, we want to make sure there's competition throughout the team. Okay. Well, let's think about this, right? Let's lay back in a chair. So let's think about this. So it's clear that if it looks like from that report, if Jimmy is injured, he's on. If Jimmy is that healthy and succeeds well, they'll just keep him off the bench, basically. So I'm 50-50 about it, because I can't see why you can't have Trey Lance do one or two quarters on the August games. I call them, uh, what do I call uh, the off-season, or I call, I'll call them uh, expedition games. So you've got three of them, I think. It's three, um, like, friendly games, as they cut, as we call it in London. Um, so why don't you just get him on there? You know, if he's there, use him. Because if he's not there, and he's watching all the time, he's just going to feel, you know what I mean? Just left out. I mean, you bought a rookie quarterback. So I don't know why Jed's, Jed York's sitting there saying, oh, two years, um... Two years off. Imagine Trey sitting out for two years. You've got Jimmy for two years. Just imagine that. And Trey Lance does nothing. So what's the point? Seriously, what's the point? The only time Lance will be on then if Jimmy has has a um, a minor or a maximum injury, which we don't want. But if it happens, you've got to put Trey in. And you know, on the practice games on, on the first of the um. Preseason uh, game, an expedition that we play someone, and Jimmy's out. How do you know? How do you know? Even before the regular season starts, that Jimmy is going to be out on the pre on the previous three, pre like the uh, the expedition games, on one of them. You don't know. Seriously, they need to, Jimmy G and him needs to be ready, pumped, the full works. I'm telling you, because that's just. I mean that that report's weird, man. I mean, very bizarre. Why? I understand, like you said, you don't want to put all the pressure on him. He's a youngster, but no disrespect, ain't college football near enough the same thing? See how busy them stadiums are. Sometimes I think they're more busy than like an NFL stadium when uh, when a team's playing. Sometimes, Christ, they. They packed out more, I think, as an NFL one as well. So he's already got pressure. Not from that team, but then he'll do the same thing in the NFL. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know. So, according to what York's saying, he'll be in if Jimmy's injured. With the money situation, I don't know what. If they're saying Jimmy's getting less than five, less than what? Garoppolo does fine but then if the 49ers win a Super Bowl mate they'll probably give him probably more than what Jimmy's on so I'm not too sure about that but listen you leave your comments you tell me what you think about that article um thanks for watching um Thanks for the 23 subscribers. Really appreciate it. If you're new, subscribe. So I'll be a lot more 49ers news. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys uh, on the next video.